Some people got advance warning about the quake thanks to the new Shake Alert app. KPI X5's Joe Vasquez is live in San Francisco. The Bay Area could have this system soon, right, Joe? Right, Ken, they've been testing this thing for years, and then we just heard from USGS today that we will be getting this Shake Alert system on your phone here, an app on your phone, within months. They already have it in L.A. It worked today, sort of. At the epicenter, today's 6.4 quake rattled houses, knocked TVs onto the floor. 170 miles away in Los Angeles, people felt the shocks, but many were disappointed that they were not alerted on their Shake Alert app. That's the new system designed like an Amber Alert on your phone that tells you an earthquake has happened and strong shocks are headed your way, unless you are so far away that your shaking won't be that strong. The app's lower threshold was set at 5.0, and this quake was weaker than that by the time it got to Los Angeles County, so no alert. Earthquake, Earthquake. light, shaking, expected in two seconds. San Franciscans who were testing the system in 2014 got less than 10 seconds warning when the 6.0 Napa earthquake hit. USGS officials say that's actually enough time to accomplish quite a bit. It's important to realize that we're not only having people do things, but we're having things do things. Robert DeGroote of the USGS says the Shake Alert system doesn't just alert people on their phones. Its artificial intelligence systems immediately send signals in fractions of a second to everything from train systems to fire departments for computer automated actions to take place. So you can slow down that train. You can close that water valve. You can do those things. You can open that firehouse door so the fire vehicles can get out. And all that can happen. In well under 10 seconds. The Shake Alert system also alerts hospitals to stop surgeries and airports to stop planes from taking off. The Bay Area is, is essentially ready to go. DeGroote says all of those automated systems are already working here in the Bay Area, and folks here should be able to get that Shake Alert app on your phone sometime in the next six months. As long as all the testing goes as planned, uh, the end of the year is sounding pretty promising for a lot of great things to happen. Meanwhile, back in Los Angeles, you know, I mentioned that it worked today, and that's because it was below the threshold, so it did not alert people who had the system. Well, that didn't sit well with a lot of folks in Los Angeles. They griped about it publicly, and in fact, tonight, Ken, uh, the city of Los Angeles sent out a tweet saying, we hear you, we're going to lower the threshold. Yeah. So essentially, you know, if you hear the shocks, you expect something on your phone, and you say, you say, wait, wait a minute, I expected some kind of warning, sure. and they didn't get it. Well, it's just software. They can adjust it, so they'll do that. Right. And, right. Uh, and we'll have it in uh, the next few months, maybe. Joe Vasquez yeah. reporting live from San Francisco. Thanks, Joe.